Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here today with a Roots Candle review for Lemon Frosted Scone. And if you are part of the candle community and you watch multiple bloggers and you're on Instagram and whatnot, then you've probably seen a lot of Root reviews lately and you probably already know that they recently put out a call for bloggers on their Facebook page looking for people who wanted to review their candles. So I responded, they sent me a couple candles free um, in exchange for my honest review. So I'm still gonna be completely honest with you about what I think of the candles. Um, but I think that this is really smart of them and whoever is in their marketing department who came up with this should get a little bonus or something because I already see it working. You know, a lot of people are talking about Root now. I've seen people putting in orders. I think it's going to be a really successful campaign for them and uh, works for me too. You know, I appreciate the candles. So um, there is a coupon code too. If you want to put in a Root order, it's reviewer2016. I'll put that below and it will get you 40% off your order from Root, which is really awesome. Um, the only thing, and I did say that I was going to mention this in my video because I've seen a couple of conversations in some of the Facebook groups I'm in and on Instagram about their shipping costs. Their shipping costs are a little high, so be aware of that when you're planning your order because... I have seen several people, actually myself included, um, plan an order and then go to put it in and then see the shipping costs and cancel the order. So um, I will say that when these candles got to my house, they were packed really, really well. In fact, when I saw the box, I was like, how many candles did they send me? Because it was a huge box and they were wrapped in, it was just two, um, they were wrapped in so much bubble wrap. So um, I don't know if maybe that drives up the cost a little bit. They're probably spending a lot of money on packing material, but the candles aren't going to arrive broken, so that's the positive part of it. I used to work at a packaging company, though, and I know bubble wrap can be really expensive. So Bath & Body Works, Yankee, those kinds of companies, you know, they have custom containers for their candles that are made out of cardboard that hold them in place. You know, like Bath & Body Works has, like, the crates, and I know Yankee has, like, the tops and the bottoms, and even Crossroads does, like, a, you know, a great thing. And I don't know if it's less effective or more effective. I just know that it took me about five minutes to get these candles unwrapped when Root sent them to me. But you're going to pay a little bit for that. So um, the 40% off, though, is still going to get you a discount if you're interested. Getting to the actual review. Now, when they said they were going to send me a couple of candles, I did mention to them the kind of scent that I typically like. I just said, you know, hey, I'll review anything because they were going to be free. I'm not going to be picky but I usually stick to bakery and fruit type scents. And the reason I said anything is because, you know, I was afraid they might send me like, send me like a floral candle or something like that. And even if they sent me the best rose scented candle in the world, I would still not like it because I just don't like florals and I probably wouldn't be able to review it as well because that's not my area. So the first candle that they sent me totally in my area, that's the one I'm going to talk to you about today. I mean, perfect for me. The other one I'm a little bit more nervous about. Um, I, uh, Certainly appreciate getting one of the giant big guys. These are huge. But they sent me the Honesty Candle. Not something I would normally choose for myself. I've burned it once now. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to review, but um, I will have that review for you probably my next video. So I want to burn that one a little bit more. I kind of want to, wanted to do it like one at a time here. So the Lemon Frosted Scone, I have burned quite a bit. Actually, how long have I had this? like a week maybe and I have every waking moment that I'm at home I've been burning it so I think I'm pretty much past the halfway point now if you consider that it's larger at the top this is the large Vera glass version 10.5 ounces and the burn time on this is not on the bottom and I should have looked it up before I started filming because I meant to I'll just put it in the comments below but it's got a pretty long burn time I can tell you that because I've had it going um seemingly forever. Now you can see that it's not a perfect pooler. Um, you know, it is like almost pooling out. It tries really, really hard to pool out, but you can see like, you know, I'm just not quite doing it over here. And that's kind of the experience I've had with it in general. It's like always almost pooled out. And actually the first time that I lit it up, um, I had to go somewhere after a couple hours, so I had to put it out, and it was not totally pulled out, and I was like, oh, crap, I'm going to ruin it, you know, but the second and the third time I lit it, it did per pull out perfectly, and I was shocked. That's when I snapped a photo of it for the thumbnail for this video, because it had a really great, nice pool, and then it kind of stopped doing that as much, and now it's kind of 
on subsequent burns is just doing this, which this could be easily amended if you wanted to waste a little lighter fluid by taking a stick lighter and while it's going, kind of just melting down around the side. Sometimes I do that because I'm a little OCD and I like it to be perfect, but I didn't do that this time because I wanted to show you what it was doing without any help. That all being said, for a single wick candle, it's doing much better than I would expect. Okay, so I'm not trying to... Um, this the performance at all. Actually, with a one wick candle, I always expect tunneling. I'm not generally a fan of one wick candles. And for a one wick candle, I mean, that's pretty darn good, actually. So I'm not really disappointed in the performance or the burn. You do get significant. You, this one's not big, but I've had some big mushroom tops that I've had to trim off. And even I blew it out and trimmed the mushroom top and lit it again a couple of times. Um, but they don't fall down into the wax, which is nice, but I've just trimmed it a few times because it's gotten pretty large. And let's talk about the scent, like what it actually smells like. That's probably why you're watching this video. This candle actually reminds me a lot of another candle. This one right here, the Italy Tuscan Lemon Tart from Bath and Body Works. I didn't make that connection right away, but once I was really got into burning it, probably second, third time, that's when it dawned on me that they were very similar. And this is a discontinued scent, so if you're missing this, this might be worth um, checking out. On cold, I get some bakery with this scent and some vanilla. And it was more so when it was new and unburned that I got that, but I still get it. It really smells like a nice smooth lemon pie filling, lemon pudding, that kind of thing. But then with some vanilla, and on cold, I get a little bit of bakery. It actually smells on cold a lot like an old Girl Scout cookie. These have a lemon Girl Scout cookie that it looked like it was between two crackers, um, but it was sweet. I don't know if they make that kind of Girl Scout cookie anymore. I haven't ordered Girl Scout cookies in years, um, but that's what this reminded me of. When it's burning, unfortunately, a little bit of the bakery, I feel like, goes away. It becomes more of like a lemon scent, which is what everybody said about this in the past. There's no bakery. There's no tart. It's just lemon. It's good, though. It's a good lemon. Um, this is perhaps a little bit more candy-like, and you do get like a little more vanilla in this. It's a little bit more bakery, but I still feel like it's mostly just lemon when it's burning. But I like the lemon. Smooth. It's sweet. There's nothing wrong with the scent. The first time that I burned it, I didn't feel like it was very strong and I got a little bit of like a waxy oily smell but I think that was just the first burn sometimes like new wicks the new wick smell has to wear off um, so if you have any root candle and you're not liking it on the first burn give it another shot because this one it definitely had like a first just had to get through that first burn and really get going to come into its own so to speak um, it was pretty now strength and throw is varying for me because I felt like it was stronger at the beginning and now I don't know if it's just because I've had it going so much lately that I'm getting used to it that I'm not feeling like it's as strong or what it would be because it's not like a paraffin wax or anything where you would have like variation like with some Yankee jar candles. I mean it's all the same consistency so I wouldn't think that the th uh, strength and throw should vary. I just felt like it was a little stronger when I first had it going. You know maybe like Mm, a six or a seven and now I feel like it's maybe just throwing like a five or so um, which still isn't bad um, and I'm comparing to what I'm normally used to which is Bath and Body Works candles which are generally really strong unless of course now there are some that are total duds but you know what I mean compared to like this guy for example I feel like the strength and throw is adequate and especially again I want to stress that especially for a one wick candle of this size, you know, the strength and throw is fine. Um, I, I would like this scent in like a <laughs> giant multi-wick candle, um, or to burn a couple of these at a time, I think would be great too. But it's definitely okay, just one. You know, I've had it burning just sitting next to me at the desk here, and I can smell it, or if you leave the room, you come back in, you can definitely smell it then. For a lemon scent, too, they're not generally that strong. And so to have, I would say it's above average, above medium. You know, like I said, five, six on strength and throw. That's pretty darn good. It smells good. I really like it. So there's these uh, snappy lids that just kind of come off and on. 
they work. Um, I was nervous about the shape of the candle because I used to have these candles from Target and I had a friend who had them too and they all did the same thing to both of us, which was that they put themselves out because being larger at the top, they had like all this melted wax that was going into the smaller space and it would drown the wick. But I haven't had any problems like that with this one at all so far. And I think that's probably all I really have to say about it. Um, so I guess I would say that if you like lemon scents, this is a good one. Again, if you're missing this, this is pretty comparable and possibly even a little bit better because there's a little bit more bakery, but it's not quite as strong either as your Bath and Body Works candle. But for a single wick, it performs really, really well. And I'll be back. I'll be back with my review of the next root candle soon. Don't forget that code reviewer2016 is below for 40% off your orders from root. And uh, that's it guys. I'll see you next time. You can follow me on Instagram in the meantime at candles and music. 